I can hear water inside this thing. Wow. Being that I was one of the first ones to get my hands on the Luba my motion mower and had it running for a few months this summer. I was literally about to make my midsummer update video comparing it to my Husqvarna auto mower. And I got home and the mower was dead. Couldn't find signal, couldn't figure out what happened. Turns out my RTK antenna was completely fried. I got a new one, support finally came through. So we're gonna see the difference and try to get this thing back running. So what I noticed was I was trying to get the mower going and it just would not get any signal. I looked up at my RTK and the normal green light that's supposed to show on the front of it uh, was off. I went and checked the power supply. The power supply had power. The uh, unit on the power supply inside was showing a green light. So that was definitely providing power. I even took a voltmeter out and checked the power going to the connector at the antenna. That was getting power. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this old one down, take it apart, try to see if we can see uh, where the issue was. Uh, in searching online, this seems to be a common problem with the early generations is that water gets inside it and either corrodes or shortens out the electric contacts in there. So we'll take a look at this one, compare it to the new one, see if we can get up and running. All right, if you saw my first install videos, um, you know that I just strapped the RTK pole up to my satellite dish here um, until I came up with a more permanent mount just to see if thing work, things work. So I got it down, and I'll tell you what, without even opening it up, I don't know if you can hear it here, but I can hear water inside this thing. So clearly a design flaw. If you look online, uh, water ingress of these, at least on the original ones, is a definite issue. There's some people uh, who have tried to modify it to help prevent that, um, but this thing needs to have a clear view to the sky, so it, it's got to be out uh, in the water. But again, yeah, it's sloshing around pretty good, so I'm not surprised that this thing got fried. All right, before we break this open, I will uh, talk briefly about my interaction with my motion support. So as soon as I found out that the mower wasn't working. I sent an email off to support and within a day they responded to me and asked me a couple questions. I verified that the power supply was working and that the RTK was not lighting up. And four days later they responded saying, okay, we're going to ship you out a new RTK. So it was very simple. They didn't ask for a lot of, um, qualifying information or pictures or anything like that. They obviously knew this was a problem. I know there's some people out there who are having trouble getting hold of my motion support and have a much bigger delay than that. But I will say it was within five days. And then it did take about two and a half to three weeks for the new antenna to show up. But we'll get to that in a second. My experience with support was fairly painless. And they got this out to me from what I consider reasonably fast. All right, let's get this thing open and see if we can confirm the sounds that I hear there. Looks like it's just a couple of screws. One, two, three, looks like seven screws on the bottom. Already see some water dripping out here. The big question is going to be where was this getting in? See if that does it. Okay, our top is off. I can see, whoop, there's a bunch of water. This is all wet up here. I'm gonna go ahead and dump the amount of water that's sitting in here right in here just to give you an idea. Wow. I mean, that's not an insignificant amount. So here, There's the water that was sitting inside that RTK. And obviously it goes without saying that there's a lot of electronics in here. Uh, I'm not even going to take the time to take this rest of these circuit boards apart, but I think it's pretty obvious to say that 
that amount of water shorted out the boards here. Uh, how did it get in? So I see one tiny O-ring that was on the cover. That O-ring, we're not sure if that's doing enough job. When this sits on top of here, I mean, really the only points of ingress that I could see would be this seam here, or I know others have mentioned online, possibly the light, but the light is kind of at the bottom. It seemed difficult to me for it to, to go in that, much, that way, especially this amount of water. So I have to imagine it's this O-ring right here. Okay, let's put that aside. Here's our new one. If we compare the two, to me, they look identical. It doesn't look like anything major. Uh, I really can't notice anything that's changed. They, same amount of screws, same connections for the, for the external antenna. Top looks the same. The light looks the same. Still a USB-C port down here on the bottom. I don't want to open this up. I'm curious if they updated that O-ring. Not sure. After I received this, and I will say there was not really any communication about um, when this was coming. I did ask support whether they had an updated version of this, and they said they did. And about two days after this showed up at my house, I got this random box. And when I opened it up, it's very clear that it's a new cover. And this is for the mower itself. We'll get to that in a second. And this is a what seems to be a rain shield to go over top of the RTK, which seems to be their solution to this. This clearly makes sense. I've seen people online, I guess without this, literally take a plastic bag and put it over top of their RTK because they're worried about it. I've heard about people using RTV sealant or silicone around this edge to help prevent this, but this seems to be the official solution is snap this on top and apparently it does not affect the satellite signal. So we're definitely gonna give this a shot. You can see it hangs down from the edge there quite a bit and just shields all that rain. The second issue which I'm hoping I don't have a problem with because honestly my mower has been sitting outside for a couple months now while I've been waiting for this. Uh, I got this about a month ago I haven't had a chance to to put it up. This is a silicone cover for the button on top of the robot which apparently also is another water ingress issue. Let's see we'll try it out we'll get it back up. There's not much mowing time left in the season here in my area um, so I think out of Caution, I'm gonna take this down for the winter because there's no sense in taking that chance. But I just wanted to update as far as uh, a lot of the people talking about water issues out there. I definitely had it. It definitely fried the antenna. I hope it doesn't fry my robot before I get a chance to put this guy on. Hopefully this shield here provides enough protection that that water issue does not happen again. Uh, I did see some people 3D printing one of these, I guess before that my motion came out with this. Um, so it seems to be a good solution. I really don't want to stick a Ziploc bag on top of it because uh, I don't think that will last either. And gooping up a bunch of silicone around that edge uh, is an option. I've thought about it, but this is what they're going to say. It's going to fix it. We're going to give it a shot. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date on all my new videos in the world of property management, renovation, Airbnbs, real estate investing in general, and pretty much any other project I get myself into. Thanks again. Appreciate the support. Don't forget to leave a comment below.